welcome to my first DIY video. I'm thinking I might actually turn this into a series. Maybe we can call it DIY but bookish because it's kind of what I want to focus on. Now today I wanted to give the book sprayed edges a shot. So the first thing I did was pick up two books. I have Dangerous Deception and Heartbreakers here. Because we're about to paint them, I would highly suggest, I mean highly suggest picking up a book from your secondhand store or at least one that you have two copies of because books are expensive and, and this is going to get a little messy, okay? Now the first thing we're going to do here is remove the book jacket. You're going to want to wrap it with something protective. I'm using an old brown paper bag. And to secure it all together, I'm just using masking tape, nothing serious. But the masking tape will minimize the chances of ripping or damaging the exterior or interior of your book. As you're wrapping, make sure to leave room so that you can actually close the book. We also want to pay close attention to the spine of our book. I went in and put tape along the edge of the spine. That way, I wouldn't get paint on it as we started to paint the edges of the book. Next, we're going to secure the book shut without denting the cover. That way, when we go to paint the edges, the paint doesn't seep in. I use two kinds of clamps, C-clamps and spring clamps. I ended up liking the spring clamps, which are the black ones you see here. They were far easier to handle and they didn't end up denting my book cover. Paint wise, I just picked up some matte acrylic paint. You can find these at the store, maybe 50 cents to a dollar. Make sure when you're painting the edges that you come in with less paint than more because we kind of want to think of this as a stain rather than painting to cover something up. So work with thin, thin layers and then if you can still see through it, come back and add another layer. Also guys, be mindful of the pages closest to the cover of the front of your book and at the end because those are the hardest to paint. Now here's where you're going to have to wait a little bit. I used acrylic paint and thin layers so it didn't take very long to dry but you want to give it at least 30 minutes before you start messing with the clamps. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and take that paper off. Obviously a little bit more gentle than me, but I'm a bit of a she-hulk, so it is what it is. So now what I'm doing here is bending the pages back and forth so that I can go back in and separate each page. You might have to go through individually, but for the most part, once you bend them back and forth, kind of like I'm doing here, it tends to separate itself. So right around here, I noticed that there were a few patchy spots, so I just went back in with the clamp and just touched up those spots. It only took me a few seconds and then I left it alone for another 15 minutes to dry. Once I was happy with it, I went back in and worked on the Heartbreak book. I ended up doing pink for the edges for this one just because it matched the cover a lot better. Here I just wanted to show you that the seed clamps left an indent on the book which is why I ended up preferring the spring 
clamps instead. Now I'm sure you can see a bit of the pink on the spine, but since the spine was black, I did a little bit of a cheat and just used some of that matte black paint just to touch up those spots. It took me another two seconds to do, nothing serious, but I would suggest being a little bit more careful than I was. I was more careful with the first book than I was with the second one. And here you have it, the finished project. I'm laying it next to my Six of Crows special edition just so that you can see um, a professionally done sprayed book versus a I did it at home in my house version. Mm -hmm.